Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Things are certainly growing in the ministry that I am involved with online. I've got another website which once I have fully prepared, I'll be given links to in the link section of the Daily Vision Bible site. It's Joshua chapter 5 today. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask as I read your word that you feel so it needs to be. Here to us as people hear your word, they come to my understanding of you. Amen. When all the kings of the Amorites, who were beyond the Jordan westward, and all the kings of the Canaanites, who were behind the sea, heard how Yahweh had dried up the waters of the Jordan from before the children of Israel, until we had crossed over, their heart melted. And there was no more spirit in them, because of the children of Israel. At that time Yahweh said to Joshua, Make flint knives, and circumcise again the sons of Israel the second time. Joshua made himself flint knives, and circumcised the sons of Israel, at the hill of the foreskins. This is the reason Joshua circumcised them. All the people who came out of Egypt, who were males, even all the men of war, died in the wilderness along the way, after they came out of Egypt. <coughs> For all the people who came out were circumcised. But all the people who were born in the wilderness along the way, as they came out of Egypt, had not been circumcised. For the children of Israel walked forty years in the wilderness, until all the nation, even the men of war who came out of Egypt, were consumed, because they didn't listen to Yahweh's voice. Yahweh swore to them that he wouldn't let them see the land which Yahweh swore to their fathers, that he would give us a land flowing with milk and honey. Their children, whom he had raised up in their place, were circumcised by Joshua, for they were uncircumcised, because they had not circumcised them on the way. When they were done circumcising the whole nation, they stayed in their places in the camp until they were healed. He always said to Joshua, Today I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt off of you. Therefore the name of that place was called Gagel. To this day, the children of Israel camped in Gagel. They kept the Passover on the fourteenth day of the month, at evening in the plains of Jericho. Mm. They ate unleavened cakes and parched grain of the prostitutes of the land on the next day after the Passover. In the same day, the manna ceased on the next day, after they had eaten the produce of the land. The children of Israel didn't have manna any more, but they ate of the fruits of the land of Canaan that year. When Joshua was by Jericho, he lifted up his eyes and looked, and saw a man stood in front of him, with his sword drawn in his hand. Joshua went up to him and said to him, Are you for us, or are you against us? The man said, Neither. For I have come now as commander of Yahweh's army. Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshipped and asked him, What does my Lord say to his servant? The prince of Yahweh's army said to Joshua, Take your shoes off off your feet, for the place on which you stand is holy. Joshua did so.